sometimes life gets a little busy and our house may get messy and things get out of order but today we're gonna get everything in order we're gonna get our prayer life in order we're not gonna enter a prayer frustrated anymore but if this is how you felt it's time to reset it's time to get into prayer it's time to get into the word it's time to clean up your space and just reset if you've been feeling like your life is a mess in today's video, I'm going to show you how I get my life together when I feel like my life is a mess. Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. Today is going to be a reset vlog. And I don't know if any of you guys get like an urgency at night to start cleaning, but it is currently 8.30 p.m. And me and my husband are going to start cleaning. We're going to start resetting. It's Friday night, so tomorrow is Saturday. So I think we'll be done completely by tomorrow. But let me show you guys what is going on in this house. I know on YouTube, we always like to show the nice part where our house is clean and everything looks perfect, but that is not the case, like, at all. Say hi, boo. Hey guys, <laughs> welcome to my chore, which is <laughs> the kitchen. Here's what we're working with, and I know you guys know that I lost 16 pounds, but it's all balanced, baby. And we've been able to maintain our weight loss too. So we got this going on, and we got this going on. And then the kitchen is just not, it's not its best right now. There he goes, here's the before. Okay, now I'm gonna show you guys what I need to do. So, this is just like, yeah, we got this mess, we got this mess, we got that there. My tripod, I'm gonna probably use my tripod right now too. So, just so you guys can see, not everyone, nobody's perfect, it happens, and, as you guys can tell, crazy week. Like, this is all clean clothes that I was supposed to fold and I never folded because I've been so busy this week. That's all the laundry that I need to do. We just have kind of like a mess all over the place. So we really need to do a reset. Just as I was saying, guys, it's just a little messy in my home right now. Um, I had a really crazy week. Uh, I work in full-time ministry, if you guys don't know, so I'm pretty busy at work. And then we had two church events this week that I was at, so life was really busy this week. So now I'm just going to get into some cleaning and just getting everything together. It's currently like 8.30 p.m., so I'm going to dedicate the next 30 minutes to just cleaning. I'm going to start with the living room. Okay guys, a lot got clean right now. The kitchen looks so good. Uh, the floor is currently drying right now and I just have to put these chairs back in their spot once it dries and I need to restock my coffee station over there as well. So that's what we're gonna do right now but having a clean space is like so important to me. Honestly, it's true what they say that your room, your home is a reflection of your mind. And I feel like this past week, because we didn't stay on top of our chores, like I couldn't think right, I couldn't even really pray, it really affected my prayer life. Like I'm the type of person that if the house is not clean, 
and I know there's dirty dishes or I know there's a mess. Like even if I'm really trying to sit down and pray, I'm like, I'm thinking about the mess. I'm thinking about the clothes. I'm thinking about like the house that needs to be cleaned. So it really affects me. It's pretty late, honestly, but I'm going to be up for a minute because I'm in my cleaning mood right now. So just going to make it happen, you know? So I'm going to turn on this candle by my TV. Put that right there. There you go. I got the second one on. Let me know what you guys think of this camera. Is this like a better experience for you guys? What really bothered me about my vlogs before, and I know people would even comment it, was the shakiness of my camera. And even when I would edit, it would bother me. I'm like, oh my gosh, I literally can't keep the camera still for the life of me. This camera has a built-in gimbal and it records in 4K, so I'm loving it so far. Okay, so much better over here, guys. So the prayer corner is done. Here's the vibe of the house. Clean coffee station, my tripod. Just the best, I love this. Time for the back part of the house. It's currently 1017. So my plan is to basically just finish cleaning and tomorrow I'll get into laundry and cleaning the sheets. So it's time to hit the back part of the house. Okay guys, so everything is clean for the most part. Uh, tomorrow we have to hit laundry, clean the bathroom, and vacuum the back part of this house. But for the most part, we are pretty clean and ready to continue this reset tomorrow. The next day. Currently 7 a.m. I haven't brushed my hair. I haven't <laughs> even brushed my teeth yet. I literally just woke up. But the very first thing I want to do is just put this clothes to wash because I live in apartments and we have a laundry room and it's Saturday morning. So I need to get to it right now before it starts getting popping in there. So let's go to the laundry room. So we're back inside the home. Everything's washing. My husband's currently praying but I'm gonna go back there. I'm gonna brush my hair. I'm gonna brush my teeth. I'm gonna take a body shower. I'm gonna take wash my hair later um, and do some skincare. So let's go do that. Super important um, for a reset that you guys are taking care of yourself. Um, and once I do all that, I'll probably go back downstairs, put the clothes to dry and then get into my prayer time. I'm about to read the word. So before I drink any coffee, I'm going to drink some water to make sure that I'm hydrated. This is 40 ounces. My goal is always two. Honestly, I haven't even been finishing one lately, so I really need to step it up.
the laundry is done, the cleaning is done. The only thing that's left is the bathroom. Dishes are clean, kitchen is clean, everything is clean. So now I'm gonna get ready to go on a run. So the first thing I like to do is change from glasses to contacts. Um, I don't really use my contacts too much, but I like to use them for special occasions and for sure for working out because glasses get pretty annoying, honestly. Oh, I don't have my microphone. Oh well, let's see what the difference sounds like. You guys can, I don't know if you guys can tell the difference with or without the microphone. Let me know what you guys like better. But I won't have my microphone when I'm running, so it's okay. I hope the footage from earlier is still usable because I was recording all that without my microphone. I think the camera also sounds good without a microphone. I'll see when I'm editing what I like better. But I've only drank around half of my Stanley cup. Today, the goal is a three, a 5K, which a 5K is three miles, and my goal is to do it without stopping. Every time I finish a mile, I'm gonna tune in and tell you guys my time for it. Okay, first mile, 12 minutes, one second. Mile two, 11 minutes and 59 seconds. So I'm actually pacing myself better this time. Mile three, here we go. I'm gonna try to beat 11 minutes and 59 seconds. So I started getting some pain on my knee and my ankle. My hair looks crazy. So I think it's a little physically impossible for me to keep running. I'm gonna try again though. Mile three, 13 minutes and 24 seconds. And I'm done. I'm done. We're looking at, let me read my watch to you guys. 37 minutes, 50 seconds, three miles. So I'm back and I look a little cray cray. Just a little bit. I am out of the shower, but now let's move on to a little bit of hair care. For skincare, guys, I know I did my skincare earlier, but I'll show you guys exactly what I use. First thing I use is Hydrolonic Moisture Boost Serum. This is actually from Trader Joe's. Super random, fine, but that's the first thing I do when my face is wet. And then I go in with Skin Therapy Oil, Vitamin E Oil by Palmers. You guys can see the Cetaphil Moisturizer. My skincare for my body. I usually use vanilla cashmere, but I started using coconut waters. I like vanilla cashmere better. For hair care, all I really do is I just put Strengthen and Restore Anti-Breakage Spray. So I'll go in with that. And I'll put in a little bit of this. And a little bit of this Moroccan oil. You know, to brush my hair out. I'm not going to blow dry it because, honestly, I don't really feel like it. When it's like about 80% dry, I may style it so it could be ready for tomorrow. But that's going to take a minute. Okay, so we started this reset vlog last night at 8 p.m. It is currently, let's see, it's about to be 3 p.m. It's 2.58, so this is great timing. Um, the last thing I'm going to do for this like reset day, which I mean, we've done a lot already. Um, for one, I'm going to make a healthy meal. So let me show you guys. These are the ingredients. I'm going to use these vegetables. It's a Pura Vida fire roasted vegetable meringue. So I'm going to use that. I'm going to have a salmon and I'm going to have some white rice. And this is gonna take me about 30 minutes to make, so I'm gonna go ahead and make that. The second Stanley, this is really good timing. I usually don't even finish one Stanley. I've just been really trying to be healthier, and I shared with you guys that I lost 16 pounds. I was very kind of strict last year. Um, I was counting every single calorie, and just kind of on a routine. When the holidays came around, I kind of got out of that routine. So now I wanna get back into that routine, but not be so strict as before, because I have been eating intuitively. 
like since December, I would say, so about two months, and I haven't gained any weight. I've been able to maintain the weight loss, and I haven't been counting, and I haven't been really exercising. So my eating habits and my judgment on portions have gotten so much better uh, because I haven't gained any weight, but now I just want to get back into it, and I'm probably going to come up with a plan for next week. I'm going to look at my ingredients and just figure out what I'm going to meal prep for the week and just make sure that that gets done because I've been eating only chicken nuggets, which I love, the lightly breaded ones from Costco. I love those, but I need to add some flavor back into my meal prep. I made my healthy meal. It is... 328 so I did it exactly in 30 minutes like I said and I just have some white rice veggies and salmon so I'm super excited to eat this um, but that's basically my reset day I just made sure that my space is clean that I pray that I move my body that I eat healthy and just doing things that make me feel just spiritually physically and just emotionally better and stronger so that's gonna be it for this videos guys i am gonna eat this salmon bowl right now i'm so excited it looks literally so good but <clears throat> i'm gonna eat this i really hope you guys enjoyed this reset day it's currently 3 p.m so for the rest of the day i'll probably just watch a movie with my husband hang out with him and edit this video and get it up for you guys but i really hope you guys enjoyed this video i love you jesus loves you and i'll see you in the next one and if you need to go reset it is the beginning of february so go reset i know a lot of people reset on sundays but i can't do sundays so i do saturdays so that's it love you guys and i'll see you in the next one bye Thank you.